gonna run you through my supplements that I'm currently taking. So I've added some new ones. Um, but honestly, guys, most of it comes down to your diet and training. Don't rely on supplements too much. They're not the key to like changing your physique. It comes down to diet and hard training. Um, but I'm gonna take you through it so you guys know what I'm taking. So at the moment I'm taking, the new ones I've added is gut gummies from my protein. Again, these taste really nice and I find they do help a little bit of bloating. Uh, multivitamin, so I'm almost, always on a multivitamin, but this one is in a gummy form from my protein. Tastes insane and good stats. Vitamin C and fish oil, I'm always on those so they don't come out of my diet. Water, I'm now up to, I'm trying to get through two, sometimes three bottles a day. And my main supplements are creatine, so I take five grams in the morning with my protein shake. And then I've got Bring the Chaos as my pre-workout. So protein shake wise, I'm trying to get most of my uh, protein in from meals. But I'm always, at the moment I'm taking two scoops in the morning and two scoops after I finish training. Guys, that is literally all I'm taking at the moment for this little mini cut. So I hope, really hope you enjoy the video guys and get ready for what I eat in a day. Right, let's go through what I eat in a day. So starting with my first meal. So in that I'm going to be putting four eggs and just scrambled egg. Um, I use just a dash of olive oil. Um, I always start my morning with a bottle of water. Um, and then with that, I'll be having... So last night, I put some just overnight oats together. So all I've done is, there's about 80 grams of oats in here. So I have that with my scrambled eggs. So I was in that set last night. So in there, you see just 80 grams of oats, just a dash of milk, and some blueberries on the top with a dash of honey as well. But that will be my breakfast. Oats and four full eggs. Right, so this is what I eat in a day. So starting with meal one, as you saw me make it, this is four eggs, oats, and my bottle of water. So I've kept it really simple. Let's tuck into meal one now. Right, on to the next meal. We are literally having one chicken breast, half pack of asparagus, make sure obviously you cut the ends off, half a bell pepper, and that is my next meal. And I'm gonna to top it with fajita seasoning just a little bit. That is meal number two. Right, and there we have it, next meal. Just plain and simple, glass of water, and that's me done for meal two. I'm gonna top it. Right, so onto my protein shake. So, I've always stuck to gold standard. I've been on this for a little while now. I switch between gold standard and sometimes my protein. So, I've just gone back to this for a little bit. Um, I get it in strawberry. Um, I have two scoops, which is 50 grams of protein. And honestly, it's, they're both, they kind of taste very similar, my protein and gold standard, but I just like mixing up sometimes. So this is my next meal. Well, I guess it's not really a meal, like I said, this is just a quick way to get 50 grams of protein. So down we go. Okay, moving on to my next meal. Well, it's not really a meal, it's more of a snack to be honest. So a protein bar, 20 grams of protein, two grams of sugar. This one is the white chocolate salted peanut. Honestly, this one tastes absolutely insane. Banana and monster. So I'm limiting my monsters now. I'm only having maybe one every two days, because obviously I still take pre-workouts, but blue one, honestly, I normally drink the white one, but the blue one now I think is game changer. So make sure obviously you get the zero sugar one, but again, try and limit these. I only have, like I said, I'm trying to wean myself off them. I have one, so just so I can feel the effectiveness. So I'm gonna have this now, and then I probably won't have another one for a couple of days, but honestly, it tastes absolutely insane. That is my next little snack. Right, I just got back from Morrison, so what I do, is I'll take you through what I get while I go shopping. So I start from top, bananas, and then the heater mix, I go for the mild one, not really a big fan of anything too spicy. Then blueberries, so this was just a quick stop in. So rice, I go with this one, Thai jasmine rice, tastes absolutely insane. So I got quite a few packs of those. So I've actually opted for convenience. I went for the little um, nut packs just so I could take them to work. Um, more rice. So like as you see, at the moment I'm just sticking to Thai jasmine rice. Um, oh, that's interesting. For my salmon, <laughs> and then asparagus. So try and get some greens in your diet. I stick with asparagus because it's great because it's a natural diuretic. So I add that into my diet. Again, so. I normally either, nuts wise, I either go Brazil nuts, almonds, or walnuts. That is literally it. Um, salmon, so I, salmon's quite expensive, but do you know what? It's quite a big part of my diet. Then, steak. Probably should have gone for the offer on that one, two for seven. 
I didn't do that. Whoops. Um, peppers. I only like red peppers. Who, no one likes green peppers. They taste grim. I'm not really um, a fan of yellow one too much. Um, I do have this in my diet as well. So I don't have a lot of it. It just takes the flavor away from chicken. If you eat chicken for a while, you know it does get quite boring. Uh, protein bar. This one is peanut nutter. 21 grams protein, two grams sugar. Honestly, this one tastes insane. So that's just a little snack. I don't, as you see, I haven't got many protein bars. I tend not to eat too many of them. No pack of salmon. And obviously, chicken. Got in good. Everyone knows chicken's got to be in there somewhere. So that is just a quick little stop in. And that's why I eat, guys, on a day to day basis. Nice and straightforward, nice and clean. Like I said, protein bars are all right, but try not to have, that's why I limit them. Um, and that is my little food haul. Right, so I'm literally about to leave the gym. So this is my cocktail. So I take two scoops of this. I wouldn't recommend starting on two scoops. Personally, I recommend starting on one, obviously, and build up your tolerance. This is a very, in my opinion, it's a very strong pre-workout. Gives me a really good workout. But also I find that I've tried so many in the past and this is the only one that gives me that long sustained energy, where some I have a massive boost and then for right now, I drop and crash instantly in the gym. But no, if you can try and get your hands on this one, I, I recommend it personally. Um, I get it in rainbow dragon fruit, and to be honest, it don't taste that bad. But it's a pre-workout, and it will taste amazing. But yeah, if you can, try and grab this, start on one scoop, but give it a go, I'm about to go to the gym. Right, moving on to the next meal, back on chicken. So, I limit bread, but I tend to, well, wraps to me, I find I can digest it quite easy, but it's just bread for me in general, I just, I do struggle a bit, so I do limit it still. Um, so I have two of these. I've chucked in two chicken breasts and just red peppers. If you can, always try and make um, chicken wraps yourself. Don't just buy them from the shop for convenience. They're, they're tends full of a lot of rubbish. So that is all I'll be using. Oh, and I'll be sprinkling, obviously, some of this over, because this tastes insane. And to go in my wraps, I'm gonna be honest, I put this in it. Again, just a tiny bit, but I find the stats on this aren't too bad, but again, Got to make it taste nice, otherwise you won't enjoy it. But that is my next meal, two wraps. Right, next meal, like I said, just two chicken wraps. Always make sure to add a glass of water. And I'm currently got Ryan Terry on the TV. <laughs> Again, I'm watching what he eats in a day as well. So that is what my next meal looks like. Right, moving on to my next meal. We have got salmon and Thai jasmine rice. So combination of this honestly tastes insane. So I try and cook things in bulk if I can. So I've got two bits of salmon for now, two bits for tomorrow. But with my salmon, my personal preference is I like it really crispy, so I leave it in quite a bit of time. But this is going to be my next meal. Cooked to perfection, crispy salmon, just the way I like it. All done. Right, so final meal of my full day of eating. Obviously just salmon, jasmine rice, and got a little helper that might try and take some of my food. But no, I hope you enjoyed my full day of eating. I'm gonna tuck in, finish off my day, and that is me done. Right, so this is my late night little snack. So a little protein yogurt. Honestly, if you haven't tried these, they're insane. They are quite filling. And then I just sprinkle some blueberries. It's that simple. So that is my late night snack. Oh, oh, oh.